If it has been previously suspended and reinstated, your license will be suspended for accumulating. Fill in the blank. Points within a three-year period. A. 8. B. 5. C. 4. D. 7. A. 8. If you are convicted of certain motor vehicle violations in North Carolina, points will be placed against your driving record. Accumulating eight points against a previously suspended license will again result in suspension. A second suspension will last for six months and a third will last for 12 months. Which of the following about winter driving is not true? A. Winter is the most difficult driving season. B. Checking your vehicle's antifreeze and windshield washer fluid levels is especially important during the winter. C. Using cruise control in winter weather is a safe thing to do. D. It is best to use snow tires on your vehicle. C. Using cruise control in winter weather is a safe thing to do. You should not use cruise control on snow, in rain, in fog, or under similar hazardous conditions. Winter is the most difficult driving season and requires extra caution from drivers. It is important to consistently check your antifreeze and windshield washer fluid levels. Using snow tires can increase a vehicle's traction on the surface of slippery roads. This sign means A. One-way traffic B. Two-way left turn C. Two-way traffic D. Minimum speed limit A. One-way traffic Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. This sign tells drivers the direction in which they must drive when turning onto a one-way street. You are coming to an intersection with a flashing yellow light. You should A. Stop and wait for the light to change. B. Make a U-turn because the intersection is closed. C. Drive carefully through the intersection. D. Prepare to stop, the light is about to turn red. C. Drive carefully through the intersection. A flashing yellow light means that you should proceed through the intersection slowly and with caution. Scan your eyes across traffic in both directions. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. At a light rail intersection, always A. Look both ways before crossing tracks. B. Pay attention and obey all traffic signals. C. Share the road with pedestrians and bicyclists. D. All of these. D. All of these. You should never drive around lowered crossing gates. Always look both ways before turning across train tracks and always obey signs and traffic signals. Trains share the road with motor vehicles and bicyclists. If a vehicle using high beams comes toward you, you should look toward. Fill in the blank. Of the road. A. Either side. B. The center. C. The right side. D. The left side. C. The right side. If a vehicle approaching you is using its high beams and fails to dim them, you should glance toward the right side of the road. This will keep you from being blinded by the other vehicle's headlights and will allow you to see well enough to stay on your course until the vehicle passes. This road sign means A. Bicycle crossing B. Stop only if other cars are approaching C. Bicycle store D. Soft shoulders A. 
Bicycle crossing. This sign with the arrow below indicates the location of a bicycle crossing path. Drive with caution around this sign because bicycles likely regularly cross or ride beside traffic in the area. This road sign means a sharp turn to the right, b double curve, c winding road, d pavement ends. C. Winding road. This sign indicates that the road ahead winds with a series of turns or curves. When driving in fog, drivers should use A. High beam headlights. B. Low beam headlights. C. Parking lights. D. No lights. B. Low beam headlights. If you must drive during fog, turn on the low beam headlights. Reduce your driving speed and be alert for taillights of the vehicle in front of you. This road sign means A. Road widens ahead. B. Lane reduction, the right lane ends soon. C. Highway entrance ramp ahead. D. Lane reduction, the left lane ends soon. B. Lane reduction, the right lane ends soon. This sign indicate that the right lane ends ahead. When backing up, you should A. Rely only on your mirrors. B. Look over your shoulder to the rear window. C. Rely only on a backup camera. D. Put your head out of the window on the driver's side. B. Look over your shoulder to the rear window. When you back up, turn your head and look back. Don't rely on the rearview mirror. The most common color of warning signs is A. Red. B. Yellow. C. Green. D. Blue. B. Yellow. Most warning signs are diamond-shaped and yellow with black markings. These signs warn drivers about unexpected conditions that may not be readily apparent. This road sign means A. Drive with caution and be ready to slow down. B. Do not drive in this lane. C. You must come to a complete stop and yield the right of way. D. Slow down, be prepared to stop, and, if necessary, yield the right of way. D. Slow down, be prepared to stop, and, if necessary, yield the right of way. This type of triangular sign means drivers must yield. You must slow down as you come to an intersection marked with this sign and be prepared to stop. Let any other vehicles, bicyclists, or pedestrians pass safely before you proceed. If you are driving so slowly that traffic is backing up behind you, you should A. Decrease your speed. B. Pull off the right side of the road and let traffic pass. C. Not let the other cars pass your vehicle. D. Use your four-way flashers. B. Pull off the right side of the road and let traffic pass. Driving more slowly than the flow of traffic can be hazardous. If you are on a two-lane, two-way road and driving so slowly that traffic is backing up behind you, you are required to pull off the road and let the other vehicles pass. Only drive significantly under the speed limit when conditions require it. Refusing to take an alcohol level test when under suspicion of driving while impaired. A. Is your right and will have no negative consequences. B. Is recommended. C. Will result in license suspension. D. Will just result in a fine.
C will result in license suspension. When you operate a motor vehicle in North Carolina, you automatically consent to an alcohol level test at any time the authorities wish to administer it. You will not be forced to take such a test, but your driver license will be immediately suspended if you refuse. Before turning left, it is important to A. Sound your horn. B. Yield to oncoming vehicles. C. Swing to the right side of your lane. D. Wait until oncoming traffic has a red light. B. Yield to oncoming vehicles. When turning left at a traffic signal, you must yield the right of way to pedestrians and oncoming traffic. If two vehicles arrive to a four way stop at the same time, a. The vehicle on the left must yield to the vehicle on the right. B. The vehicle on the right must yield to the vehicle on the left. C. Drivers must make hand motions to communicate with each other. D. One driver should proceed without stopping. A. The vehicle on the left must yield to the vehicle on the right. In general, Vehicles at a four-way stop should proceed in the order that they arrive. However, if two vehicles arrive to the intersection at the same time, the vehicle on the left must yield the right of way to the vehicle on the right. This road sign means A. One-way road B. No right turn C. Exit D. Sharp right turn in the road ahead. D. Sharp right turn in the road ahead. This sign indicates that there is a sharp right turn ahead. This road sign means A. Do not pass. B. Do not enter. C. No turn on red. D. Keep right. D. Keep right. This sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. The road will split into two one-way roadways separated by a median or divider. You must keep to the right. If you become stranded in a snowstorm, the best thing to do is to A. Get out of the car and go for help. B. Lay down in your car and go to sleep. C. Walk into the road and get the attention of other drivers. D. Stay in the car, as you are most likely to be found when you stay in your vehicle. D. Stay in the car, as you are most likely to be found when you stay in your vehicle. If you become stranded in a snowstorm, the best thing to do is stay in your car and wait for help. You are most likely to be found if you don't leave your vehicle. Additionally, it may be unsafe to walk around outside in a snowstorm. An intersection has no traffic signs or signals. You arrive at the same time as a vehicle to your right. You should A. Speed up and get through the intersection. B. Slow down and yield to the vehicle on your right. C. Drive into the intersection and make the other vehicle stop. D. Honk your horn and drive through the intersection. B. Slow down and yield to the vehicle on your right. When two vehicles arrive to an uncontrolled intersection at the same time, the vehicle on the right has the right of way. Once the vehicle on the right has safely passed through the intersection, the other driver may proceed. Alcohol. A. Slows reflexes and reaction time. B. Puts you to sleep. C. Wakes you up. D. Improves your judgment. A. Slows reflexes and reaction time. Alcohol is a depressant drug that slows the activity of the brain and reduces the skills that you need for safe driving.
Drinking alcohol results in slowed reaction time and impaired judgment. You are driving in the right lane of a multi-lane highway and want to move into the left lane. You should a look in your rearview mirror for traffic behind you before changing lanes. b look over your left shoulder for traffic in your blind spot before changing lanes. c look in your side mirror for traffic and turn on your directional signal. d all of the above. d all of the above. Before changing lanes, you should always verify that there are no other vehicles in the lane you want to enter by checking your mirrors and looking over your shoulder in the direction you plan to move. You should signal every time you change lanes. This sign means A. You must turn left or right. B. You are approaching a T intersection. C. The road that you are on intersects with a divided highway. D. You are on an overpass above a divided highway. C. The road that you are on intersects with a divided highway. This sign indicates that the road that you are on intersects with a divided highway. A divided highway is two one-way roadways separated by a median or guide rail. On a road which has no sidewalks, a pedestrian should walk on the A. Side of the road which has the lightest traffic. B. Same side of the road on which traffic is moving. C. Side of the road facing oncoming traffic. D. Side of the road which has the heaviest traffic. This sign means A. No left turn. B. Flagger ahead. C. Two way left turn. D. Turn right or go through. A. No left turn. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement. Displaying rules which drivers must obey. This regulation sign means that left turns are prohibited. When driving in fog, you should use your A. Low beam headlights. B. High beam headlights. C. Parking lights. D. Hazard flashers. A. Low beam headlights. If you must drive in foggy conditions, you should use your low beam headlights, as well as your fog lights, if your vehicle has them. High beams direct their light upwards, where it can bounce off the fog and into your eyes, reducing visibility even more. Driving significantly under the speed limit is? A. Dangerous. B. Smart. C. Safe. D. Optional. A. Dangerous. Driving below the posted speed limit can also be dangerous. If you must drive slower, you should still observe the posted minimum speed limit. At places where it is unsafe to pass, the slow driver forces other drivers to creep along behind or take unnecessary risks while trying to pass. If one of your tires blows out as you are driving, you should A. Brake hard immediately. B. Try to steer straight while gradually slowing by removing your foot from the gas pedal. C. Maintain your current speed and steer straight. D. Swerve back and forth to alert traffic behind you. B. Try to steer straight while gradually slowing by removing your foot from the gas pedal. If a tire blows out while you are driving, hold the steering wheel tightly and keep the car headed straight down the road. Ease your foot off the gas pedal and do not apply the brakes until you have complete control. When the car is under control, brake gently and pull off the road at the nearest safe location.
When approaching a traffic signal displaying a steady yellow arrow, drivers A. Should merge into a lane in the direction of the arrow. B. Should slow to a stop, if it is safe to do so. C. May turn left after yielding to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. D. Have the right of way and may expect oncoming traffic to stop for them. B. Should slow to a stop, if it is safe to do so. A steady yellow arrow indicates that a red arrow is about to appear. Stop unless you are already within the intersection. This road sign indicates a. The maximum safe speed for a residential area. b. The maximum safe speed for an expressway exit. c. The maximum safe speed for an expressway entrance. d. The maximum safe speed for a work zone. b. The maximum safe speed for an expressway exit. This advisory speed sign indicates the maximum safe speed for a highway exit, in this example, 30 miles per hour. Blood alcohol content BAC depends on each of the following, except A. Your body weight. B. How much you drink. C. How much time passes between drinks. D. How physically fit you are. D. How physically fit you are. Your blood alcohol content BAC depends on how much alcohol you drink, how much time passes between drinks, and your weight. It is not affected by the type of alcoholic beverages you drink, your level of physical fitness, or how well you can hold your liquor. If you're going to turn left onto a one-way street, you should complete the turn into A. The right lane. B. The lane closest to your previous lane. C. Either lane. D. Neither lane. B. The lane closest to your previous lane. You should always turn from the lane that is closest to the direction you want to go. Turn into the lane closest to your previous lane. When approaching a school bus that is stopped on the opposite side of a divided highway, drivers A. May continue driving. B. Must stop until the school bus begins moving. C. Must stop until the stop arm is lifted. D. Must stop until the lights stop flashing. A. May continue driving. When passing a school bus that is stopped on the opposite side of a divided highway, drivers may continue driving. If the highway is not separated by a median or divider, drivers on both sides of the street must stop. About 38% all traffic fatalities involve which of the following, an NBSP, an NBSP, an NBSP, an NBSP, I. Alcohol and NBSP, and NBSP, and NBSP, and NBSP, two. More than one car. A, I only. B, two only. C, both I and two. D, neither I nor two. A, I only. About 38% of all traffic fatalities involve alcohol. This sign means A. A divided highway ends. B. A one-way street begins. C. A one-way street ends. D. A divided highway begins. D. A divided highway begins. This sign indicates that the road ahead becomes a divided highway. Keep to the right of the divider or median. This sign means A. One-way traffic B. Divided highway ahead C. Two-way traffic D. Keep left 
B. Divided highway ahead. Warning signs are usually diamond-shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This warning sign indicates that drivers are about to encounter a divided highway.